Next, we're looking at UNLV playing against Southern. This game's at UNLV. When you look at Southern, okay, they played TCU already, lost 108 to 75. It was impressive that they put up 75 points, but they still lost by a ton, okay? They were held to 44.6% shooting and committed 16 turnovers to only 13 for TCU. Leading score for them was Brandon Davis with 20 points, and Tyron Joseph also threw in 15. On the other side, UNLV was 19-13 overall last year, 7-11 in the Mountain West. They lost a lot of players, okay, lost its top three scores, as well as four other players that saw uh, significant action last year. But they are – their leading returning score is Justin Webster, and their third leading score from last year – uh, Jack Johnson is also back. But what I like about them is the transfers that they're bringing in. Several key pieces and transfers are Khalid Boone, center from Oklahoma State, Keelan Boone from Pacific, and is Isaiah Cottrell from West Virginia. Jalen Hill is a guard from Oklahoma, and Robert Whaley is a junior college player. So I really like what they're bringing in. Um, my play here is going to be UNLV to cover this spread. 18 and a half, some books have this as 19. And UNLV is expected to have a strong season this year, despite the new faces. They're bringing in quality guys, quality transfers. And Southern, even though they scored a good amount against TCU, just showed absolutely no ability to defend. Lost to them by... 30, and uh, I see this game being somewhere between 20 to 25 points. UNLV at home should be a good crowd. That's our second play of the day. Give me UNLV at minus 19 against Southern. And that's going to do it for today's plays. If you're not already following, be sure to like and subscribe so you can catch all of our plays. As I mentioned, college basketball is our top sport did really well last year, and we're hoping to continue the momentum going. Best of luck today, and we'll see you on the next video.